In this video, I will explain how nurse practitioners get paid in the US. In the US, there are more than 355,000 nurse practitioners licensed. These nurse practitioners, including myself, work at a different facilities and under different employment conditions. There is definitely lack of information about nurse practitioner's compensation. When I was a new grad nurse practitioner, I didn't know how much nurse practitioner is supposed to make. So when the employer for my first nurse practitioner job asked me how much I want to get paid, I honestly didn't know how to answer that question. I hope this video is helpful for nurse practitioner students, new grad nurse practitioners, and nurses who are considering become a nurse practitioner someday. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Miki Miura. I'm a family nurse practitioner based in Hawaii. I'm originally from Japan, moved to the States after working as a registered nurse in Japan for a few years. I've been working as a nurse practitioner in the US for nine years now. In this channel, I upload different kinds of videos about nurse practitioners, building nursing careers, and studying abroad. I'm hoping to help fellow nurses all over the world to follow their passions. Well, let's move on to today's topic, which is money. So the first question come up to my mind is, what's the average wage or salary for nurse practitioners in the U.S.? According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the mean hourly wage in 2021 was $56.75, and the mean annual salary was just above $118,000. Question 2. Does the place of employment affect the pay? The answer is yes, absolutely. Nurse practitioners who are employed at home health care services had the highest hourly wing wage, and it was $64.03. The second highest pay was to the nurse practitioners who are employed at outpatient care centers, and it was $62.11. Surprisingly, well, at least to me, Nurse practitioners who are employed at general medical and surgical hospitals get $3 less wage than those who are employed at outpatient care centers, and their hourly mean wage was $59.12. I wonder why this is. If you guys can think of the reason, please comment in the comment section. On the other hand, nurse practitioners who are employed at physician's offices get paid $50.25 per hour on average. Question 3. In which state nurse practitioners get paid the most? Top paying states for nurse practitioners was California. Nurse practitioners in California make $72.99 per hour on average. The best paying city for nurse practitioners is San Jose, California and the average wage for nurse practitioners in that city was $95.13. Wow, that's amazing. The second highest paying state was New Jersey, and the hourly mean wage was $65.87, which was about $7 less than California. Question 4. How is the average pay for nurse practitioners compared to other healthcare professionals? In 2020, nurse practitioners earned $114,510 on average. In comparison, physical therapists made $91,680, and registered nurse made just above $80,000. So how about physicians? How is their pay compared to nurse practitioners? Well, in the same year, year of 2020, physicians made $208,000 on average. So the average annual salary of physicians were 1.8 times more than that of nurse practitioners. Well, how about pharmacists? In 2020, 
the median annual salary for pharmacists were $128,710, which is $14,200 more than that of nurse practitioners. Interesting fact is that the Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that between 2020 and 2030, 7,000 pharmacist jobs will be lost and the employment growth for this profession during this period of time is negative minus 2.2%. While the employment growth for nurse practitioners during the same period of time is positive 52.2%. Fifth question, how do nurse practitioners get paid? Well, this is an interesting topic that a lot of people are curious about, but it is not discussed often. I did some web research and looked for some data, but I could not find any large-scale surveys regarding this. So I asked my nurse practitioner friends how they get paid by their past and current employers, and they replied to me, how are you guys? And here are their answers. So there were various ways of compensation for nurse practitioner's job. Some got paid based on salary without productivity bonus, meaning that they just got their salary and there's no addition. Some had this, but also additional pay if they were on call. Some got paid based on salary uh, plus productivity bonus. Some got paid based on wage rather than salary and with or without productivity bonus. One nurse practitioner friend told me that she got paid based on salary plus bonus, which was not based on productivity, but rather professional development, such as years of experience as a nurse practitioner, projects like mentoring, creating, and publishing educational materials and community service. Another nurse practitioner friend told me that she gets paid quality bonus, which is separate from productivity bonus, meaning that she gets pay, um, paid extra for uh, EMR messaging or getting vaccination and attending meetings. Other nurse practitioner friend told me that um, he got paid for 30% of total revenue for healthcare service that he provided to his patients. I have had in total of three different nurse practitioners jobs, including the current ones. And interestingly, all the jobs that I had or have currently paid me different from the others. How we get paid is completely depending on the employers, but also depending on what kind of contract you have with the employer. Meaning that your nurse practitioner colleague who do the exact same job as you may get paid differently than you because nurse practitioners usually sign an individual contract with their employers and their employers would not appreciate if nurse practitioners discuss the concept of their um, contracts, especially about compensation with their colleagues. So most of the time, we don't know what our colleagues get paid, whether they get paid more or less. I hope this video was interesting to you Please share your experience in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also. See you in the next video.